Okay, so hey everyone, this is part two of the vlog. I just finished unboxing the fairy loot box that I had in the last vlog, and I think I'm gonna hold off on unboxing my owl crate one until I have like makeup on because I'm feeling very bummy right now. But I do have my boba. They didn't put milk in it this time. I got it from a different place because we were doing Uber Eats delivery, so. It's still really good though, and without milk it's probably better for me. I'm gonna be concentrating on just kind of getting some more stuff organized. I did bring more things in my car, so we're gonna unload that, and then I'm gonna try and just kind of finish things up, because tomorrow should be the day that I bring over the kittens. Well, they're, they're full grown, but they're still kittens in my head. And I'm like anxious, but also excited. It's gonna be nice to finally like be settled down and have the time to like personalize my space because that's actually something that I'm really, really excited for is just trying to make this as like personalized as possible and more to my aesthetic. I'm trying to find my aesthetic. I think that I've just been having a hard time with it. Yeah, and you guys are gonna follow me along for it. So this starts part two of the moving stuff. Yay! <laughs> So we got everything from the car, <laughs> if you can hear them, they're watching a movie. And I'm going to listen to Ghost of the Shadow Market. Hopefully I finish it today, and then if I do, then I want to start on... That's not my phone. My phone's here. I'm going to start on even The Darkest Stars if I can find it, and... Yeah, I don't know. I think that for the most part, I'm going to film organizing like these knickknack shelves and things like that, and maybe as I... <laughs> Oof, could not say that. Hang some things up, but like unpacking the boxes, no. <laughs> I just don't think it'll be fun. So yeah, I will talk to you guys hopefully when this looks a little bit better. Ooh, I have noise canceling on and it sounds really weird when I try to talk. definitely having some trouble right now. Wow, I look very washed out. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I had a bun once upon a time. But I am feeling like, I don't know. The thing is, is that I really kind of want these to be a little bit more like on the nerdy side, just having like kind of a fun place to put all of our nerdier knickknacks because Adam has quite a few. He hasn't brought them over yet though. But it's kind of hard to blend them with like the things that I used to have in my cubes and like that's the issue I'm having right now. So it's taking me a little while, but we'll see. I did just finish Ghost of the Shadow Market. I liked it actually, as far as like short stories go, it was definitely better in my opinion than Shadowhunter Academy ones. And that's the only one I have to compare it to because I never read the Bane Chronicles. So I'm happy overall. I think I would give it like a, like a four stars, maybe even a four and a half. Like I really didn't hate any of the stories. This last one was like very, that's probably the only one that I felt like iffy about, but even then I still liked it because it was just fun to see like gem and you know. So now I'm just gonna look for even the darkest stars and try and decide how I want everything organized. <laughs> so, yeah. so first off, I didn't find even the darkest stars on audio. I feel like maybe I should have looked at that before I added it to my TBR this month, but we're here. Um, so I'm just going to, because it's already pretty, pretty late, so I'll 
probably not be staying too much longer. So I'm just going to watch like some YouTube videos while I finish this up. I did decide though, because we're supposed to be hanging the necklaces and stuff right here. Hmm. Okay, either way, one of these is gonna have the necklaces and the other one has that T'Challa painting. So I decided that the one with the T'Challa painting is going to be like the nerdier fandom kind of related stuff, while the one with the necklaces will actually have like some jewelry related stuff in the top and I can kind of mix in like the crystal things that I have and like the cuter stuff. So I think though now like looking at it, I might want to switch the poster onto this side and then make this like the nerdier side and that side the like cutesier side, I guess. <sighs> this is a struggle guys. <laughs> Welcome to day two of part two of this vlog. I feel like this should be a little, oh, that's not the right knob. My tripod is too complex for me. I like how I said that I'd look better today and I still don't have any makeup on, so we love that for me. I'm actually here earlier than I've ever been during this like moving process because today is the last day of me moving all my stuff over. Today I came with like some of the bigger objects that I still had to move and it's all in my car. So we have to unload that, but that's not like my main goal at the moment. The main goal right now is I am going to be cleaning for like the next five, six hours. <laughs> I'm also gonna be reorganizing this room. I went on a total hunt on the internet to try and figure out what the floor plan was for this house and figure out like the sizings of each room so that I could put it into procreate so I could rearrange the furniture in there without having to rearrange it in here. And I think I finally figured out a really good way to make everything fit and still feel like the space is open. So I'm hoping that it will actually really work out and we're gonna put that theory into test today. Then tonight we're bringing, I'm bringing, the cats so I'm excited it's I mean I don't know I know I was putting this off like putting off completely moving in because it's gonna be kind of bittersweet just because I've been having so much fun at my mom's house like I don't know I just I thought it would be a lot different trying to like move back in with my mom when I haven't lived with her for like four years but it was actually really nice and it was a really nice break but I know that for my pro productivity, it's way better for me to live on my own and have this kind of space because when I live at my mom's, all I want to do is like lay in bed and eat the food that she cooks and just like watch TV and that's not an issue. It was definitely a nice break from life, but I'm ready to like jump back in. So today's the day and a lot of the decorating and stuff that I want to do that I still haven't completed that I was trying to do last night even, I gave up on because I was like, why would I be trying to do this right now when the main goal is really just to get everything clean enough to bring the cats over because they like decorating. They like being involved in that process. I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is do like a small rearranging just to kind of see where everything's going to fit. Mostly what I'm doing is I'm actually going to be switching the desk over to this side and kind of facing it a different direction and moving the sitting couch thing over there. And then from there, it's all kind of switching around it. So like the bookshelf, there's gonna be one hopefully in between those two. It's just, it's a lot to change, but I think it's actually going to work really, really well for this room size and for what I want to do with it. Yeah, and then after that it'll just kind of be cleaning because obviously since we've all moved in, we haven't really moved in. Like the guys, they were all just waiting for me to completely move in for them to finish all the stuff that was going on. So there's like paintings on the floor where they're still trying to figure out where to put them. I want to get those up before I bring over the cats because just knowing my cats, they'll like hide behind them and then I'll think they're lost or they'll like zoom behind them and knock over an expensive painting or something and I don't want that to happen because it's not my artwork obviously. Obviously it's theirs. So I do want to mention <laughs> the last vlog was supposed to go up a lot faster, but I can't find the first part of the footage. I had it on a different card and I put that card away during this whole move and I'm trying to find it, but I cannot place it for the life of me. So hopefully today I'll find it, maybe tomorrow, and then I can get that vlog up. But that's not what I'm worried about right now. Let's get going, I guess. I'm gonna place you right over here. Again, I didn't find an audiobook yet. I just remembered that, so I don't know what I'm gonna be listening to yet. A bummer, because I really wanna listen to an audiobook. We'll see. Ooh. 
wait because I'm obviously not gonna play that for copyright reasons, but this quarantine has ignited my obsession with TikTok and learning TikTok dances. Is anyone else in the same boat? Like, I don't know if I want to make a TikTok or like even put those dances on TikTok because I don't know, that's just like not something that I'm comfortable with, but I'm tempted. So we'll see what happens during this quarantine. Anyways, sorry, back to what I was doing. Wow, I, my lips were really chapped, so I tried out the fairy lip balm that I unboxed in the last vlog, the strawberry one, and it smells so good, and it feels really, really nice. Like, I barely used any, and oh, that's nice. I turned you off just for a minute because I didn't know how this was gonna go. I don't mind this. Like, I mean, in the camera, it looks kind of weird, I guess, but I really don't mind it. I think it looks pretty good overall and it does open up the space a little bit more. I have this whole little open area. I don't know really how to describe it. I think one of the tall, big bookshelves is gonna go right here. I'm not sure how that's gonna fit or look because there's so many books in the shelves and I didn't want to like deal with that quite yet but it is gonna have to move so I'm just I don't know I guess I should probably just get started on that that way I know what's going on but so far so good which is cool all right let's keep going so you need toilet paper it's only a dollar a sheet <laughs> Okay, so I emptied one of the bookshelves, that's what I was trying to get done because I want to put it over there, but I'm hesitating because one of the outlets is right there and I want to get like an extension cord that I can put behind my bookshelf and I don't think I have one on hand. We'll see, but I did start because that video that I was watching was over and my computer was about to die. So I went on to Scribd and tried to see if there's anything that I'd be at least remotely interested in and I picked out Red Scrolls of Magic, which is the other short story that came out actually pretty close to Ghost of the Shadow Market and I don't know who it's following. I want to say... I want to say it's like Ty and Kit, but I could totally be wrong, so I'm interested to see what happens, and it has pretty good ratings, so. the original plan of like doing it like this and I do like it I think that if I left it like this I wouldn't be too mad about it I think that I can actually make it a little bit more cohesive I guess if I take the bookshelf that I put like in between the desk and the chair and actually make this whole wall those like larger bookshelves and that skinny one is gonna go right here but i think that it'll be fine because i do kind of plan on potentially getting another one of these short ones because i'm going to mount the tv now on this wall so that's why like the seat is going to kind of like look at the mounted tv you know for my games right now it's a lot of like picking up books and putting them in different shelves which is very annoying but <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do you know also, I was definitely wrong about Red Skull's magic. I think it's actually Magnus and Alex, like, adventures, which is really cute. So maybe I should have listened to the Bane Chronicles before this, but we're already in it, so... So, see, eventually I want to get another one of those to kind of go across, and then the TV's gonna go right there. So I do actually really like how this little area turned out. I'm gonna turn you guys off, move all the books again, and get this situated.
But I actually really like how this turned out. It's so much more open. I have a whole extra space for my bookshelf and I get to kind of push out the desk a little bit more now because here. now I can kind of push the desk a little bit more out, have a little bit more space right behind it for my chair and everything like that. I really like where the chair is. I think it actually fits really well. I can still open up the window just a little, which is like something that I really wanted to be able to do. And it's just so much more spacious. And again, TV, I like this. Okay, cool. So I'm probably just gonna try and throw everything in different areas, out of breath, so that I can start cleaning the rest of the house. Cause this wasn't supposed to be my main project for today, but I've already spent like an hour and a half doing it. So love that. I kind of forgot to mention too, but I'm wearing this really, really cute A Court of Mist and Fury inspired shirt, City of Starlight, which is Valaris. It was actually sent to me by Blissfully Book Bookish, the company that made it, and I adore it. I've been meaning to like take really cute pictures with it on, but today I just kind of put it on, so. But yeah, just in case you were wondering, I'll leave them linked down below. So I've done basically as much cleaning as I'm going to do today. It's looking a lot better. Not perfect, but you know. But I will say my book room and me and Adam's room, it's a mess, but that's for a reason. I think I'm gonna sign out Maybe drink some water and then head over to the house and get the cats. Now that the cats are here, we can finally start organizing this mess and get things looking good. He was messing with the light because we wanted to put in a colored one, but they were the wrong size. So I want to do a quick before shot of the room. And then I don't know how much I'll get done tonight just because he actually goes to sleep early. I do not, but we will see. And their litter box right now is in the bathtub because it's not always going to be in our room, but for the night we wanted them to be able to have the litter box with them. So I think that the first thing I want to get started on is just doing these things decorating because we have another box of knickknacks right over here so we've got our work cut out for us don't we luna bug you kind of like your tower right there staring right at my spot eventually we're gonna move his dresser once we figure out where to put his clothes and then we can scooch her back you look awfully pleased with yourself <laughs> yeah yeah is that what it's just like being a bug <laughs> They got used to their new room pretty quickly. Oh, don't we, Luna? Is that what's happening right now? I also wanted to mention that I actually am almost done, I think, with Red Scrolls of Magic. We love that for me. It looks like I'm back in an audiobook mood, but it looks like it's only for Shadowhunters. Maybe Bane Chronicles is next, you know? All right. the camera died so you didn't get to see me finish this overall i'm pleased i guess i'll probably mess around with it a lot but for now i'm overall pretty happy with it now i'm going to try and this thing this necklace thing i'm going to use a power drill hopefully i can get the necklace thing hung up because i feel like it's causing a lot of clutter also i finished red scrolls magic I actually loved it. It was amazing as far as like short stories go. I don't know. I feel like my standards are very low for short stories if I'm gonna be honest. So right now I'm starting the Bane Chronicles. You know, I'm on a Shadowhunter short story kick. Might as well just get them out while I'm still in the mood for them, you know? Let's go. Tell it's super crooked.
Seeing how I didn't use a stud finder, let's just hope it doesn't fall. So I am calling it quits for tonight. I have mildly organized this room. It looks a little bit less a wreck. The cats seem happy. There's like walking space now. I mean, there's still a ton to do. I think I'm just going to go outside because they've been watching TV this whole time and like hang out maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome to, I don't remember what day it is anymore, but the first official day of living here. So I have kind of been busy all morning, just kind of cleaning up this space and rearranging and making it a little bit more to my liking. So we did clear up this corner so she could have her little tower next to the windows. And then I ended up moving the vanity right over there, which I love because it looks really good next to that. And I am planning on changing like the marbling contact paper. Oh, now for right now, now we have double dressers. <laughs> we're still trying to decide what to do with Adams. Uh, if we're gonna keep it, we just need to find a place for it. But I did do like a bunch of got really dark clothes rearranging so that he was only using two right now in that dresser. So we'll see what happens. And then what else? What else? Let's, let's point you this way. Oh, well, this is a hot mess. We have to recycle, but we have the little TV area. So I put the nerdy things right over there, which I adore. And then we have my mirror, which I really like. I specifically planned it to have this kind of like as the background. We love that. Some more stuff that I have to put away, more stuff that I have to put away, more stuff that I have to put away. The bathroom's kind of like a hot mess. Well, you can't see that much of it, which is good, but it's a hot mess right now because everything else is a mess. Oh. That little painting right up there, actually, my mom painted for me. Isn't that fun? Fun facts. Chala is now tuckered out and he's hiding in the closet. Luna has not wanted to leave the house, or sorry, the room, all day. And she even meows really loud whenever Adam comes in. <laughs> I think she just wants to be with me for right now, which is adorable. But we're gonna go to the book room, Bug. Are you ready to get introduced to the book room? Because that's our project. Yeah. Oh, you love your corner. All right, well, let's just um, get on going there. We just filmed a whole clip without pressing record and my camera turned off while it was still, like the screen turned off. And I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, my camera, it just died. I just was in the middle of a clip and it died, but I just had not pressed record and it fell asleep. So anyways, I closed the door. We looked at the book room and I was telling you the plans. It is a hot mess. And I don't know if I'm going to be getting to organizing the books, at least not right now. I kind of want like everything else set up first and then we can kind of concentrate on those. That's a separate video anyways, so we're not concentrating on that today. For the most part, I just want to get like everything put away. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to be quiet too because Adam's working in the like dining area because he's currently working from home with everything going on and they have him like on the phone, so I don't want to be loud. But yeah, let's um let's get to organizing, I guess. And I'm going to continue listening to the Bane Chronicles. I will let you know the first story I was not impressed at all. I actually didn't like it at all. I it was really really bad and then the second one was definitely more salvageable. I think the plot was better and the writing in my opinion was a little bit better but it's pretty noticeable that this was Cassandra Clare's like first short story collection because it's just at such a lower tier but it's okay it's okay I'm gonna keep listening to it if I hate it and can't continue then we'll go from there. Okay, bye bye.
I brought a very unwilling T'Challa. Are you gonna leave? He just doesn't like being carried. So sweet. Adam went to go get food, so there's not much more to do here. Or, well, there's actually a lot more to do, but there's not much more that we have to do. Everything's still mostly a mess because I still have to rearrange the actual books and until those are done I won't know where all the knickknacks go so I'm kind of just resting them over there for a minute and the desk is like coming together but still not perfect. Oh, Chala scratched me. I have so many battle wounds right now. I don't know because the times that I've really hurt myself it's always my feet. Like I always hit my foot or grind it up against something or like stub my toe drop furniture on my foot that's that's what's been happening in this move because i like to do everything on my own without asking for help and then you get injured so all those things do not bruise but for whatever reason i have so many bruises in places i don't remember i have like 10 million on my legs i have this one on the back of my arm which i saw today which is weird so yeah i swear guys i'm just oh, apparently incredibly clumsy so, all right, let's keep cleaning up, maybe clear up the floor space, maybe vacuum. Maybe I will start reorganizing the books tonight. Maybe, depends. Also, I'm not liking Bane Chronicles overall. Like, I don't think the stories are terrible, but after reading Scrolls of Magic, they're so similar in the aspect that they both follow Magnus Bane and kind of explore more of like his past in certain aspects. And this one just is not the same quality as Scrolls of Magic. So it's definitely a letdown, but we in it. A couple of days later, yesterday I ended up kind of taking a mini break and not getting much of anything done, which is fine, you know? I just kind of have been organizing more things because there's just, just there's still so much to do. There's gonna be a lot to do, I think, for a while. But today I'm actually planning on finally reorganizing the shelves. Obviously I'm not gonna be filming that in this vlog. I'm making a whole reorganization video for it. And then maybe at the end of the day, I'm going to do a little bit of a double unboxing because I have my owl crate for this month as well. It is a little bit different. I know that they told me that, well, they told all their reps that they actually oversold, which is really good for them, but it means that the boxes that the reps for owl crate got are slightly different. They're not gonna have the same stuff in them as maybe the real subscription boxes. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update and then maybe like look at the shelves, look at how they are because they're about to change. I also might try and bring in the cats. I might not finish the reorganization today like I'm saying that just in case, but it could take a couple of days, which is fine. All right, I'm just gonna kind of get started on that. I forgot to mention, I just turned on my purple light, so it's a little bit different in here. I mounted the TV yesterday. I got like a split second of footage. I'm actually impressed that we did it. It was just me and then the roommates, like they, well, they held it up because they're boys and I just kind of supervised, but it's up and I love it. I do still plan on maybe putting another one of those right there. I'm not entirely sure though if it's gonna fit with the door. Like the door might not be able to open all the way if I put it in, but it's a sacrifice I might be willing to make, you know? Cause it's just like very unbalanced for now. My brain cannot handle the imbalance. It's freaking out, <laughs> but yeah. All right, that, that was kind of it. Maybe once my shelves are organized today, I'll just like play The Witcher because my PlayStation's all set up. Oh wait, I really still have to edit the part one of this vlog. I finally found the um, card that had all the footage from the first couple of days, so I no longer have an excuse to not edit it. So actually, that'll probably be what I end up doing tonight, not video games, but we'll see. <laughs> Hey everyone, <laughs> we're still at the very end of my moving vlog. I do think that this is actually going to be me closing out the vlog because for the most part, the moving's done. If you can kind of see, my bookshelves have officially been organized, which is really fun. I filmed the process, it was lengthy. I changed my mind so many times. And there's still 
things to be done in the book room like I still need to hang up all my art that's what I was trying to decide on right now and I remembered that I still hadn't unboxed for you guys the two owl crate boxes that I had and I really kind of want to do that I think it will be like a nice little unwind yeah I mean I hope that this moving vlog has been kind of fun for you guys to watch this process happen watch me go a little crazy and move a lot of furniture around I have so many bruises so many I don't even I don't even know where they're coming from so yeah I do just kind of want to get this edited though and get this up and then I can start like my normal videos again which is insane but let's start by doing a little bit of a double unboxing I do have last month's owl crate box and then this month's owl crate box this month's I do want to mention I got it in a different box but I'm pretty sure it's because I mentioned this earlier in the vlog they oversold them so this isn't going to be the full box there might be like a couple of items missing so I'm still excited though to see what's gonna be inside and grateful that they put anything together for us so yeah let's get started though with this is February's February's owl crate pretty sure pretty sure okay so this is what the box looks like it's actually beautiful my goodness wow this is definitely my aesthetic so the theme for the month is going to be power within ignore my nails by the way I have been trying to keep them all nice and pretty and then this move like all of them broke all the nail polish is chipped off. I really need to like have a moment and like do my nails again because it always makes me feel more put together. I love what the spoiler card looks like by the way. It just looks so mystical. So the first thing, ooh, we got a new deck of cards. I love getting decks of cards. It's a weird one for me because to be honest, I never use them, but it's so satisfying to have this many decks of cards. Ooh, I love the box. It's just this beautiful purple and all the metallics. Oh my gosh, and it's Throne of Glass inspired. It says rattle the stars and to whatever end on the back. My Sarah J Mass Heart has been so happy with the release of Crescent City and just watching her live shows. They've been so much fun. So let's actually see what's in, oh my God. Guys, can you tell? It's like a metallic purple foiling. These have to be the prettiest cards I've ever seen and the prettiest cards I own definitely and the back just has the same artwork that was on the box and then we have oh, the Joker Let's see like let's let's find some good ones ace two. I really like how simple like the regular cards are Oh my gosh, so we have our Jack which looks like it's Lysandra then we have our king wait Oh, I was gonna say I was like where'd the queen go? We have our queen, which is oh, it's Maeve Oh my gosh, it's Queen Maeve. I kind of love that they made her the queen. Like we never get any good artwork on her. And then we have our king, Manon. Oh my god. And this was of spades. So let's see if they did different ones for the different suits. I dropped some. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so our Jack is Selena for diamonds. Our queen is most definitely Aelin. And then we have our king, which is Adian. Wow, I love this for them. Such a good looking group. Oh, Sam. This has to be Sam, baby. Sam Cortland. And then we have our queen, Nehemia. Love this for her. She's looking stunning. I love the artwork. And our king, Rowan. <laughs> and now we have one more suit, we have heart. Oh, oh. Okay, so for heart we have our Jack is Kale. Um, he's not how I imagined him, but that's fine. Like I imagined him cuter. And then we have our queen. I'm guessing this is Irene and she looks stunning. A queen. Anyways, and then our king, Dorian, baby. This has to be my favorite artwork too that I've ever seen on a deck of cards. So I'm really happy about that. They do also have the artists that worked on it on the back. We have Joe Painter, Salome, Diana Dorak, and Jana Runic. Wow. I'm gonna keep these like on my shelf probably because I have two Sarah J Mass shelves now and I'm gonna treasure them forever. They're just so beautiful. Wow, wow. I'm just gonna, and let's grab this right here. What is it? Oh my gosh, it's like a little screen cleaner, a little microfiber cloth. Oh, this is cute. 
We just got a microfiber towel in one of the fairy loots and I was really excited about it. I actually just used it to clean my computer screen, so that was fun. And now we have like a smaller little like portable version, which you can use obviously still for like your computers or you can put it in for your glasses. This is stunning. I don't know what it is though. It says a witch is just a girl who has realized her power is her own. That's a really cool quote. Okay, what is this from? Oh, okay, so it's from Wicked Saints. I've been seeing more and more about that series. I feel like maybe I will try and pick it up. I've just seen such mixed reviews over it, but I really like that quote, so might have to just go for it. Look at that artwork too. It's just so beautiful. It's really nice too. It feels like a good microfiber cloth. And I like that it has a little baggie and it has little stars and moons all over it. Makes it more fun. Boop. All right, then we have the enamel pin, which goes with whatever the book is. So I'm not gonna look at it quite yet. And then we have a keychain. So it says Break Bills Alumni. It has this little honey bee on it. That's cute, but I don't recognize it. Oh, from The Magician. Isn't that a TV show? Am I? It might have actually also been a book. I'm not sure. So it was designed by Blooming Library and it's it's from The Magicians, but I really like the keychain. I love honeybees. So this is what I got spoiled for and I'm really, really excited about this because I was literally about to buy myself one on Amazon recently and it's a bento box. So it's like a Tupperware, but that you can keep all of like the stuff in, which this is a really cool thing and you have a spoon and you got some chopsticks which can never have enough of those honestly and then let's open it and then it has little slots for like different food items this is perfect because i always want to take things to work but the tupperwares that i do take it in just don't work out for me like they i don't know and this is going to be super super cool for that especially because it has little slots so you can take your reusable silverware and not have to use plastic ones so i think that's really really cool and it was actually designed by team owl craze for metal eating alamancers oh my gosh it's mistborn inspired oh that's so cool who like to pack their lunches while traveling through luthadel and for mistborn readers who enjoy tastier foods we use skadriel's steel alphabet to spell owl crate on the top oh that's really cool i love this even more now that i know it's mistborn inspired so <laughs> that's awesome this was i think the last thing in it so it's a little metal bookmark Ooh, okay and there's wait there's a string there's two strings what are the strings for thread sisters oh that's cute so it's a thread sisters bff bookmark i'll always follow you and you'll always follow me thread sisters to the end so i'm assuming this is from witchlands which is awesome by Susan Dennard and it's a bookmark but it also has like a little slot I'm assuming that's for the threads and then it has a ruler which is really freaking cool because whenever I annotated my books I use the side of the uh, sticky tabs but I love that this is like a nice metal bookmark let's see what the threads are for is it just to like is it just like the symbolism of thread sisters oh wait it's two metal bookmark rulers what <gasps> Oh my gosh, there are two! Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's cool. So you can gift it to like a BFF. Nice. And I feel like that is it besides the enamel pin. Ooh, we have a little sampler, which is really cool. I did already purchase the book book, but I still haven't read it. And then let's grab the book. I did already kind of spoil myself on accident while I was reading the spoiler card. It's all the stars and teeth. This is my second copy of it because i know i ordered it from book of the month either way i do own this already but i'm really into this cover it's this beautiful teal so they changed it up and it's just stunning Ooh, i love that noise and then it is signed by the author which is really really cool it says she will reign as princess of the island kingdom visidia amora montara has spent her entire life training to be high animancer the master of souls the rest of the realm can choose their magic but for amora it's never been a choice to secure her place as heir to the throne she must prove her mastery of the monarchy's dangerous soul magic so this is actually in my most anticipated books of 2020 and i'm really really excited to get to it it just seems very interesting like a kingdom where you can pick your own magic and where things go awry and she has to team up with a rebellious pirate and there's sirens that are like singing a song of death i'm just i'm into it they hit the nail on the head with that one let's see what the pin is this one was actually designed in collaboration with thoughts lovely dear uh which is chami here on booktube 
it's really pretty oh it's like a crown but it's a very sea queen inspired crown and it says still I will fight I love that and then we do have the letter from the author and we have owl crate pamphlet and it just has the interview with the author Adeline Grace it shows the differences between the two covers the original is more of like a royal blue and black situation and this one's more of like a beautiful like teal blue situation I really really like it actually and then we have a crossword we have an interview with the artist for the microfiber cloth we have the photo challenge oh my gosh we have a throne of glass inspired playlist I'm gonna have to check it out I love that they've been including playlists this is just so much fun and then other releases they're excited about for the month which is really cool so let's look at what the theme for next month is gonna be ooh so this box, the one that we're about to open, is going to be Music of the Night. Ooh, and it looks like there's going to be a candle in it. Okay, let's do it. Let's just open it up. First, let's say my favorite item from the box. They were really, really good this month. I'm thinking, though, I'm leaning more towards the deck of cards. I was just so impressed by the quality of them. And let's grab the other box. So I'm curious to see what ends up being missing in this one. So let's just open it on up. And we have the theme for the month. It says an Owl Crate production. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. It's very Phantom of the Opera. And again, the theme is Music of the Night, which is a Phantom of the Opera song, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm excited to see what's going to be in here. Wow, there's a lot of these little things. I'm definitely going to recycle these. I feel very bad for the trees right now. But anyways, back to what we were talking about. The first thing is this really cute mint chocolate chip lip scrub. Ooh, I'm a sucker for lip scrubs. Let's open this up, actually. It's created by Owl Crate and the Fairy Tale and Bath Company. So sugar, soybean oil, flavor. Use within 12 months and do not eat. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I was gonna try it because I know like the lush ones you can eat, so I, I do. But this one, it says don't eat. So um, I guess we'll just leave it for now. <laughs> I was really excited. But it's called Bella's Lullaby. So I'm assuming that's Twilight inspired, which is actually so much fun. They don't specifically say that it's inspired, but I mean, they're talking about vampires and werewolves, so we can assume. Ooh, okay, wait, actually these socks... That's actually funny because he sent these along because it's Owl Crate's fifth anniversary, but I got a package from Owl Crate around Christmas time, which I never got to open in a vlog because I was so busy packing and everything. And it was like a Christmas gift, like, oh, thanks for being with Owl Crate or having an Owl Crate box. And I never knew if it was because I was a rep or if it was because Owl Crate just sent that out to everyone, but they were these socks, like these exact same socks. So now I have two pairs of them, which is actually pretty cool. They are really soft. I've already worn the other ones and they're really thick and lovely. So I'm really excited about that. Also, I feel like I definitely forgot to mention that I'm an Owl Crate rep and that's that's why I'm opening these. So always look down below if the information is there. Ooh, okay. What is this? A wireless speaker. What? That's really, really cool. So we have the little like cord that you can attach to it. The charger. The speaker itself. Oh my gosh, it has a little owl on it. This is so cute. Oh, I like it. it. Oh, he's wearing like little headphones. That's adorable. Look at him. He's just wearing headphones and rocking out. This is actually so freaking cute. I'm always in need for wireless speakers. I feel like it's a very expensive thing to put into a box. Oh, I love it. It says for all your listening needs from audiobooks to podcasts. So it also says that the bookish playlists each month are curated by Tess at Paperback Bones. That's really cool to know. So I'm just gonna set that there. So I have this and then I have the enamel pin and the book, but it looks like that's it. So after that, I'll tell you what else was supposed to be in the box. But, ooh, ooh, it's a wooden print. This is really pretty. So it says, sing you a song and steal your soul. Victoria Schwab. Ooh, I'm assuming this is our dark duet. Look how beautiful. All the detail in it, it's so stunning. It's not even like that bookish right off the bat. I like this wooden print thing. I have one that I got in one of the Dark Dawn boxes for Dark Dawn, obviously, and it's one of my favorite things, but I still haven't decided how I want to display it because like you can't just like, 
hang it up on the wall. I mean, you can, but I don't want to, you know? So I have the book right here, which is, oh, okay. Well, I'm definitely glad. This was one of the book of the month picks, I'm pretty sure, but I had the option of getting it and I decided against it because to be fair, I'm like not incredibly excited about this, but this book itself that Owlcrate made is beautiful. So the book of the month is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu, and they have silver sprayed edges. And they made it way more blue. It's so beautiful. It says, I am the sister, the other Mozart, and her story is mine. I think I thought this was something different. Born with a gift for music, Nanurl Mozart has just one wish, to be remembered forever. But even as she delights audiences with her masterful playing, she has little hope she'll ever become the acclaimed composer she longs to be. She is a young woman in 18th century Europe, and that means composing is forbidden to her. She will perform only until she reaches a marriageable age. Her tyrannical father has made that much clear. As Nanurl's hope, I feel like I'm saying her name so wrong, as Nanurl's hope grows dimmer with each passing year, the talents of her beloved younger brother, Wolfgang, only seem to shine brighter. His brilliance begins to eclipse her own until one day a mysterious stranger from a magical land appears with an irresistible offer. He has the power to make her wish come true, but this help may cost her everything. Okay, wait, I definitely had... I think someone described this when it was first being announced as a continuation or a prequel or something along those lines of Marie Lu's Legend trilogy. And I was kind of meh about that idea. I was like, I don't really need anything left in that world. But this is definitely not that. This is a really cool story. It's like portal fantasy and it has to do with music. I'm definitely more interested in it now. I don't know where I'd heard that other summary from and I'm kind of bummed that I never even gave it a shot because that would have been a hard thing to miss. This is really cool and it's such a pretty cover, gosh. And let's look at the pin that came along with it. So this one looks like it was made in collaboration with Fable and Black. Ooh, that's stunning. It's basically the cover of the book. We do have the author's notes. Let's first talk about the other things that were gonna be in your box if you did order one. So there is a Music of the Night poster print, which is Phantom of the Opera inspired. Oh, book plates, that's really cool. Ex Libris book plates. We couldn't resist including a goodie inspired by the iconic Harry Potter soundtrack. Dang, I wish I'd seen those. And then there was The Candle by Flick the Wick and it was inspired by Winter Song, which I haven't read. I got a good amount of the stuff. I'm really glad I got the wooden art print, honestly. That's the thing that I'm most excited ended up being in my box. So let's look at the pamphlet really, really quick. We have, again, the interview with the author. We have the original and the Owl Crate version of the cover. And now looking at it again, I think I like the regular cover Better. I just think that there's a little bit more contrast in it and I think it would have looked really really cool with the silver sprayed edges still. This one's still pretty cool. I just think it's like very very bright <laughs> but that's okay. To be fair I have way too many dark books so this will look good on my shelf. And then we have Crossword Puzzle, the Fairy Tale Bath Company interview, the photo challenge, and the reading playlist, which this one looks like it's between the pages. That's fun! And then let's look at April's theme. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. So the theme is full moon magic. And look how pretty. And it looks like there's gonna be an exclusive jigsaw puzzle illustrated by Italian Art. All right, I can't wait to see next month's box. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. I mean, Full Moon Magic just sounds right up my alley. Definitely my aesthetic. And yeah, I mean, for my favorites in this box, I think it definitely was the wooden art print. Like that is just unbeatable. It was so, so stunning. I have so many like little flecks of white on me. So I'm glad that we got to open that up in this little last part of my vlog, but I'm going to be trying to wrap up my night earlier than I have been just because I really, really have to sit down and actually start editing. It's been so hard to force myself to edit when there's still just so much organizing to be done around the house. I need to do just so many things and we're about to start March. Wow. Is it March? No, we're about to start April. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know where my brain is at. Yeah, and I definitely love vlogging. So I think that vlogs are gonna be making a comeback, but I don't know how exactly yet. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing weekly vlogs. They might just kind of be a little bit random or just until I feel like I have enough footage, things like that. But I've missed vlogging in general. So hopefully we can get that started. 
but yeah for the most part this vlog is done but thank you so so much for watching thank you so so much for being patient with me while this whole transition is being happening is being happening is happening <laughs> that's kind of it that's all i have to say so i will see you guys in my next one goodbye